Okay, this question starts by saying by completing the square, so we're going to complete the square first. Um, now, the easiest way to complete the square with um, ones that have a coefficient of the x that's not just 1 is to remove the coefficient of the x. So I'm just going to remove that from the first two terms. So it becomes x squared minus 8x and then minus 15. Okay, now I'm going to complete the square within the brackets. So we've got x minus 4 squared, and that creates a 16, which we don't want, so minus 16, and then minus 15. Okay, let's remove that minus 16 from it. So we're going to end up with 3x minus 4 squared, and then we're going to do uh, 3 times minus 16, that's, that's minus 48, minus 15. Okay, last thing we're going to do is just collect those uh, the minus 48 and the minus 15 together. So x minus 4 squared minus 63. And this should all be y equal, shouldn't it? Because it is an equation. Okay, um, so when trying to find a turning point, which it's effectively telling us to do here, telling us to find this, first thing is to figure out what the normal function would be without all of the clutter. So the function is based on y equals x squared, which is this one here. Now the turning point for y equals x squared is 0, 0. So we've got to figure, well, how do I get from that turning point to that turning point on the, one, on the function we're interested in? Well, let's compare the two functions. So y equals x squared is just the x that's squared. But here, it's x and then we're taking away 4 from within the function. So anything inside the function affects the x. So minus 4, uh, if you know anything about graphic transformations, if you don't, then uh, type in on mass graphic transformations. There's loads of videos that we've released on it. Minus 4 within the function will move it right 4. So the turning point will be at 4. Now, you can now try and work out where the y is. Uh, for using the equation we've just written. However, the easiest way of doing this is just feed that 4 back into the original equation. So I'm going to do 3 times 4 squared minus 24 times 4 minus 15. And I guarantee it's right. So minus 63. Now you can see the minus 63 is here, but if you if I mucked up anywhere along that, and you know when I did minus 48 minus 15 or anything like that, and I added it up wrong, then I would write down the wrong answer. This way you guarantee you've got the right answer as long as you can substitute it into the original equation.